All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Um, just cutting up some aluminium now for the hull. Pretty excited getting started on it. I've just uh, drilled a few holes in this uh, here and just put some ties in just for now, just so I can get that real accurate curve for the bottom of the hole because I've got a keel and I've got the keel over here, so I've got a keel material. So the sheets go in here, both sides. And this keel sticks out so it's nice solid keel challenge is got to get it to that curve so i've got to bend little bits at a time and uh, i've just pulled out the old bender that i used to bend the um, cruiser nose forks and uh, worked really well for that so it's just big massive lever and i'll just pull down on this and I'll just do little bits at a time to get the shape. I'm using this filler rod, the TIG filler rod. So I'll just bend it by hand just to, around to get the shape so I can use that as a template and uh, get it very accurate. So let's see how this all uh, bends up. got that uh, keel done I've got it bent up um, so this keel here if you have a look they've got slots here I'll slide the sheets into both sides of that and then I'm going to weld TIG weld along that edge so you can see here I've just got the start of the hole made I've bent that Bent that keel up. So yeah, going pretty well, nice and easy. into the build and uh, I've already got a hull sitting there. Um, I've just tacked it all together. I haven't um, welded it out yet, but I just want to make sure I've got everything where I want it before um, fully welding everything up. But uh, this is the, the hull. So I've been working on um, these reverse strakes and uh, these lifting strakes here. So what I'm going to do with this one is to taper the to taper the strake off uh, to the nose. So I've got to weld this one, weld this one in here, and then I've got this other little piece here to weld that in there as well which will uh, finish off the end and then I'll weld the whole strake in. So essentially it's going to give me a couple of things. It's going to improve the strength of the hull through that centre there um, and also it'll give uh, some lift in the water. So once you're in the water it'll actually uh, provide a little bit of lift on here on this flat surface. And so I got this I got this keel all tacked in now as well. That's uh, really solid 
solid keel so at least if um, you hit any debris in the water yeah this this keel here it's um it's about four mil four mil thick here um, and six mil across the top so it's uh, fairly solid it's uh it's coming together it's getting there um, pretty happy with how it's all coming up so with all these tacks it looks like there's a heap of them there is um, you've got to tack aluminium really uh, really close together because the heat put too much heat into it and it starts to warp the aluminium so small tacks everywhere to hold everything together and um, then I can go back through and uh, weld it all out. All right, so this uh, is how those have turned out. They're only tacked together, but uh, this gives you an idea as to how it's gonna look once it's finished. So yeah, pretty happy with how the shape's coming along. So this is what I've got up to, four days in. Got flipped over. I've just tacked everything together underneath. There's like uh, two or three hundred tacks. It's ridiculous. But uh, starting to take, starting to take shape. We've got underneath. So what I've got uh, running through the center of here is I'm gonna have a, a tunnel the whole way through 300 mil tunnel, which will act like a backbone basically all the way through uh, the hull. And it's gonna attach to the tail section. So it'll be completely one piece once it's all attached. So structurally, uh, it'll tie the whole lot in together. So on the back here, I'm having a tapered step. So it's gonna taper back from these reverse strakes. And then I've got the lifting strakes underneath. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how we're going at the moment. Um, hit that like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and uh, follow along on the build, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.